Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. For this video, we are here in Jongno district of Seoul. Jongno is the safest district in Seoul in terms of corona. They have the least number of corona cases right now. And for the video, I'm gonna show you this building, what is inside this building. This is the John Tae Il Kinyom Gwan, or the Memorial Building for John Tae Il. So, who is John Tae Il? We will know soon. So, this is your first look at John Tae Il. It says here, Kunro Ki Jun Fomun Chun Suhara, Urinun Kigega Anida. We are not machines. And this is John Tae Il as a bronze statue walking out the building with this book Kunro Kijon Bom that is the labor manual of Korea that is him and look at the facade of the building I think that's the text for the labor manual so we are now inside and we see John Tae Il's sewing machine. We move to the exhibition hall at the third floor. And here we are. So this is the exhibition hall. But unfortunately, there is no English translation. But I will do my best to translate for you. In 1948, uh, John Tae Il was born in Daegu. Three years later, in 1951, his father lost his job so they had to move to Busan. And then at the young age of seven, John Tae Il moved to Seoul. And then at the age of 14, he moved back to Daegu with his father. When he was 17, his mom moved to Seoul. So John Tae Il followed her mom and looked for her mom in Seoul. These are the districts in Seoul that he moved to. Chunggu, Gangbuk, Yongsan, Dongdaemun, Chunggu, and then Dongbung. And the places in Daegu that he has lived, Chunggu and Sogu. Districts in Busan that he has lived, Chunggu, Yongdonggu, and Donggu. And this is him with his co-workers. This is the after work bus in December 1967. So he needs to travel from Dongdimun, the Pyeongwa market. 12 kilometers up to his home in Dobongsan. So one time while walking towards his home, he was caught by authorities and they were put in this police station with the other people. Police box is Pachulso. So this was his work at the Pyeongwa market or peace market. They do garments. So mostly lady co-workers. Let's look inside their workstation. The sewing machine, the patterns. There are two levels and this is also their sleeping place, I believe. So this is what their day looks like. It's a only 1.5 meter width room. So this room kind of looks like it. It's very 
cramped, very small. This is actual photo of the shop taken in 1973. Got more photos. Now this is the photo I think after Chun Il died. There is a gap in the storytelling of this exhibition. They haven't shown how he died. So that was her mom. Her mom became an activist for the Korean laborers after Chon Tae-il passed away. So this is her mom, 1987, a year after EDSA in the Philippines. And this was 1987, July 1st. So there were books written about her mom and about John Tail. This is November 1970, memorial event for John Tail. 1996, this is Myeongdong Church, here is Myeongdong Cathedral, 1987, 1987 Korea. Now this is an artist interpretation of what happened to John tae -il. He actually burned himself to protest the conditions of the laborers the garment workers so as a form of protest he burned himself to get the attention because during that time when he burned himself there was a election campaign so all the important candidates are about to pass by the building but the authorities were stopping them from doing protests. So to get the attention, he figured he had to burn himself. So that is how he sacrificed his life for the cause. And now this is present day Korea. These are the messages for John tae Il from the people. They're all in Korean. Oh, these are the prices back in the 1970. Bus fare is 15 won. A bowl of black noodles is 100 won. Coffee is 50 won. And a pack of rice is 2,801. Now we move to the second part of the exhibition. This is called Moksori, that means sound. As expected, we could listen to sounds in this exhibition.
Thank you. Well, I got this back from the staff. <laughs> so now we're here at the rooftop. Okay, it's open. I plan to show you what's inside for the ending of this vlog. But first, let me show you around. Let me show you the view. So this is now modern day Seoul. Oh, this is a nice spot where I could do the unboxing. They got vegetables for the Samgyeopsal barbecue. Okay, let's do the unboxing. So once again, guys, this is the Chonte Il Kinyom Guan or Chonte Il Memorial Hall. Let's see what they gave me. So this is a notebook made of paper, specially prepared. Chonte Il. And what is this? Oh, pencils, colored pencils, red and green, Merry Christmas, and two lead pencils. Now, this is John Tail here, looks like a storybook, but in Korean, but there are photos. We are here right now. We are at the rooftop of this building. And this is the notebook. Oh, all right. So thank you guys for watching. The reason why I did this video and why I came here is because last month in Busan International Film Festival, no, not last month, just last week, I saw the animated film about Chon Tae Il. That's why I'm a little familiar with the story, how he ended his life, how he fought for the labor workers in Korea. So that movie will be screened nationwide in Korea next month in November because sometime in November is the, I believe, the death anniversary of Chon Tae Il. So I will be premiering this video in time for that. So that is it guys from the Chon Tae Il Kinyom Gwon. Thank you so much for watching and always if you can please speak out for those who cannot speak out fight for the for the rights of the laborers of the world annyeong bye bye